If you've ever made a crypto transaction, you've probably noticed that addresses look like a random string of characters. These addresses are unique and serve kind of like a bank account number for your crypto wallet. So other people can send you funds. But these addresses are typically difficult for a human to read. To make it easier to communicate your address with others, services have been built that create a human readable address associated with your wallet. This could be an address like john.eth, which would be created through the Ethereum name service or john.sol, which would be created through the Solana name service. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a .sol human readable address through the Solana name service. This is part of a course made with support from the Solana Foundation. And this course is designed to take you from a crypto investor to a crypto user. For the full course playlist, as well as supplementary written materials, be sure to check out the video description. Now let's get into it. First, a bit more on what exactly a human readable address is. Basically, these are custom words or names appended by a domain suffix. In this case, .soul. John.soul, Satoshi.soul, Crypto.soul. These are all examples of human readable names. Note that I don't actually know who owns those specific examples, so please don't send any money to them. The goal of creating a human readable name is that you can easily tell it to someone else. For example, imagine if I wanted to tell you my address right now. I could tell you that it was in the description of the video and you could copy and paste it. Or maybe I could even tell you there was a link to a QR code in the description of the video. But it might just be easier if I could tell you what it was out loud in plain English. That's a human readable name. Like regular wallet addresses, .soul and .eth names must also be unique. Now let's create one of these names for ourselves. Note that this costs money, usually about $20. So if that's not for you, you can skip this lesson and just understanding what they are will be enough. First thing you'll need to do is to go to the Solana name service at sns.id, also linked in the description for this video. Then search for a domain you'd like to purchase. Remember that all .sol domains must be unique, so you won't be able to buy one that's already taken. Once you find one that's available, you can add it to your cart. Note that it's possible to have multiple human readable names, so you could even add multiple to your cart and they'll all be associated with your address. Once you're ready to check out, select your cart at the top of the screen and click on checkout. Makes sense, right? You'll be prompted to select a wallet to connect, then you'll need to pick a token to pay with. Again, this typically costs about $20 per name, but some names may cost more. And finally, you are ready to go. Pay for the names and after just a short period, you'll be able to see all the names that you own on your profile. If you have a public wallet, like the one that you use to own NFTs, now you can easily share your profile with others by giving your new .sol address. Now you should understand human readable crypto wallet addresses, what they are, what they're used for, and how to make one. Maybe you even followed along and made one for yourself. And remember that to keep up to date on new opportunities in the crypto market, you can check out our newsletter at newsletter.dynamodefi.com. And if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe so YouTube shows you more. Thanks for watching and until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.